To manage outstanding drafts or floor plans, start in the Inventory Activity Center and click on Floor Draft Maintenance. Here you'll search for the account with the outstanding draft or floor plan by stock number or any of the other search criteria listed. Once you locate the account, you'll see the Draft Floor Maintenance tab. You can view the Purchase History um, tab and print out a history report if you need to. And back on the Draft Floor Maintenance tab, you'll see that there is an outstanding draft on this account. Um, and we need to pay the vendor and then we're going to move this to a floor plan. So you can, if you had an outstanding draft and you just needed to make a payment on it, then you could click Edit Draft, enter the new amount and the date, and then click Save. And that would change the balance of your draft. To pay off a draft, if you needed to pay off the vendor, then you could enter the payment code, cash or check, enter the payment reference or check number if you have one, select the bank code or the bank that you'll be using to pay off the draft, and then click save and that would pay off the draft. Or in this case, click transfer draft fl to floor plan and then you'll see the date you can use today's date if you're doing it now or change the date if you need to. The floor amount that we're moving over to a um, floor plan. And then you'll have to select a floor code. And these codes, this um, you'll create a repository in System Utilities under Lookup Maintenance of all floor plan holders or a list of the banks that are supplying you the line of credit. So you'll come in here and select the bank that you wish to use and it'll populate that floor code and then click save and the system will complete the transaction and then it'll move the draft into your floor plan. So now you can see you no longer have a draft outstanding but you do have a floor plan. So if you need to edit the floor plan for any reason then you can click edit floor and make changes there. If you needed to delete the floor plan you can do so. If you need to reduce the floor, uh, make payment towards it then you can create your payment code, enter the reference payment reference or check number in this case. Select the bank and enter the amount that you're paying towards the floor plan. And then the system will generate or complete the transaction. And once this transaction is completed, Then you'll see now that the floor plan has been reduced um, by the amount that you paid. If you need to pay off the floor plan, you can come in here and put the payment code and pay that off. And if you need to edit the floor code or change the bank or the line of credit, then you can do that by clicking Edit Floor Code. And that's how you're going to manage drafts and floor plans in the system.